Hey guys, welcome back to TerraTech. I'm just doing a test run, maiden voyage for my new mining vessel, and uh, yeah, so this tech thing, I've detected a flaw, at least if I'm going to be getting minerals from the mountains, and turns out there are just a lot of minerals, ores, valuable stuff up here in the mountains, but the ridges, the ridges are a little bit too much. I've gotten stuck several times. So I have to do stuff like this to uh, elevate my wheel. Uh, let's see if I can get off this. Now, if I just avoid those these particular sharp sections, uh, I don't have really have any problem. There's no problems in the salt flats, no problems in the grassland. It's only here in the mountains that something happens. Uh, so I'm think I might design around this, or I might just not come back to the mountains. Come on, man! Come on, buddy! And now, what I want to do is uh, I want to get this back to our new smelting system, which includes ore construction, to see how much money we get from one full load. I've got 28,000 right now. Okay. Uh, and I haven't really been particularly looking out for the plumbite, which you need for all the ores. I haven't really been looking for that. But I have a pretty good amount of it. Okay, let's tell you what. Let's bypass... The mountains a little bit. Let's head back down into the grasslands. Uh, one thing I didn't do with this particular tech that I wanted to, that I almost uh, always do for every tech, is I didn't put any boosters on him or fuel tanks to fuel the boosters. And, and that's because of the ores falling off thing. So this guy, when he's weighed down by all these ores, he's, uh, he's slow enough that I don't think I've ever had him drop one unless I fall over or something like that. So uh, that, as far as that, that's pretty good. Uh, getting ores to the back can sometimes be tricky. After the front half fills up, I've got to... Uh, this is like just a wasteland of parts. Dead techs I've destroyed. I've got to start backing into ore deposits. Look at this guy right here. Okay, so guys, uh, enemies were... Oh god, this is bad. Move. Oh crap. He's too close. Uh, guys were spawning a little bit too close for my taste, so I put all these anchored blocks all over the all over the area, and basically a big three by three grid around my base, kind of like a, the nine on a on a dice on a die. Uh, doesn't seem to be working because that guy is right next to an anchored block. Okay, so twenty eight thousand. And with this money, we're going to build a new tech with what we have available. I don't have a tier 5 fabricator yet, so I can't build the really cool weapons like the, um... I forget what the name is. Actually, they might have even renamed it. But I don't have... Yeah, grade 5 fabricator, we need that. 5 block, that would be good to have. Uh, we did get that booster. This one, this, the Megaton Cannon. This is the best weapon in the game. At least it was uh, in the last patch. There are some experimental weapons in the game, so they might be better. We'll have to find them and see. And I also... The big uh, fuel tank would be good for the boosters. But mainly, I want that Megaton Cannon. We can either craft it with the Grade 5 Fabricator. Or... Uh, we can either do that. Or we can... Look at all of that beautiful ore. Oh my gosh. And it's just all rotating around. And are we getting alloys? Some. You need plumbite for all the ores, or all the alloys. Yeah, there's one. 588 just sold. That one was... 228. Okay, not as much. Yeah, okay, so this is working pretty well. 468. So it does, um... I think I need more of these receivers because I can't offload my entire load. And I guess maybe uh, I probably need seven or eight. I've got eight of these tractor pads here. Maybe I need an equal number of these receivers. Uh, other than that, okay, let's leave that guy there for just a second and go deal with this guy. This thing right now is, um, it still works, but uh, we need to upgrade him. He's a bit, he's a little hard to maneuver. He He's so heavy, he's fairly fast. But he's so heavy that he... Look at all the armor on this guy. Oh, we're just going to eat right through it, though. Oh, you're going to die. He, um... He's so heavy, he tends to skid around and stuff. Wow, kerblam! Oh, oh! 
What was that? What? Okay, we just had some big explosions. Uh, oh, and there's a booster, but I already unlocked that last time. I actually grabbed that, though. I don't have to craft it. Something in these little things exploded. Let me grab this. Let's grab that. Uh, all this stuff, though, is it's not very valuable. The four block actually is pretty nice. I use that to craft. They're not expensive. It's just kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of like a... I, uh, <laughs> I'm a pack rat. I have hoarding issues in these games, even if I can craft them, even if I've got a ton of money. All right, so let's come back over here to the base. We dealt with him, not too bad. But this guy, uh, yeah, he's he he's fairly fast, but he's so heavy, he tends to just sort of kind of slide around and drift and whatnot. Uh, put that there. What happened to the... Well, you know, it doesn't matter. We don't need that stuff. This rock, I don't think that sells for anything, and I don't think you can refine it. We're up to 45,000, so I've made at least 15,000. We still have a ton of ore to process. Okay. Rotate around. Did that rock get sold? Oh, I think it did. It disappeared. Okay. I. Th oh, no. It's still rotating around. No, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you can't do anything with that, I don't think. Okay. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do until we get that megaton cannon and a few parts, I think we're... I think I'm going to... Should I build something from scratch? I should probably build something from scratch, because if I lose one of my techs fighting and getting reckless, which I've done a bunch of times, uh, it's good to have something to fall back on. So we'll just leave this guy here, and I might upgrade his wheels. Let's switch to Scooter 3. I might upgrade his wheels to these things, because uh, they can hold a bit more weight. But let's, um, while all this ore is processing, let's take a look in the payment terminal. At what I have available. All the ore has been offloaded now. Let's take a look at the terminal, terminal and see what kind of things we want to base our new tech around. So, in terms of weapons, uh, it's probably going to be either the three pound cannon again, which packs a punch and is good for like just tearing through, tearing through stuff. If I can find it, the list is really needs, uh, yeah, this menu, I've talked about the menu before, it needs a serious rework, I'm sure they're working on it, there's a lot of things to, uh, get to, uh, with the game. Three pound cannon, I'm just kind of curious how expensive it is, even though I've got a bunch sitting over here in a silo, so I'm not actually gonna have to buy any. Okay, I don't see it there, but I think it's like, 450, and I guess I passed it. So many things, and when you scroll through this quick, it's easy to miss something. Oh, it's really high up here. I th kind of thought it would be lower down. I guess it's not. There it is. Oh, 150. Oh, that's really cheap. Okay, we can definitely use a lot of those. Geocorp has no weapons. They just have mining stuff. I did find... Uh, I found one of these things, which I didn't find last time. I did give this guy a test. And he's, he's not really effective. You've got to hit a rock like three times with it to break it. So it's actually not faster than the uh, the crappy little drills we're using on our mining guy now. And it's not nearly as good as the one I want to get, which is... Well, we don't have it yet, so it's going to be a silhouette, but the Cerberus triple head bore thing. Cerberus head light bore. Yeah, that thing. Uh, this thing's awesome. We'll use that once we get it. But uh, as for weapons, it's either going to be that three pound cannon or the Venture Hail Fire Rifle. That's all we got. Uh, I haven't made a tech with this weapon for a while and just for variety's sake, I think we're gonna do this. We might use this wheel or this wheel. Haven't decided, but I need to upgrade my other guy to that wheel. And as besides that, there's really just n I'm missing a lot of things. So we're going to have to do some murdering to get some new parts. Unlock some parts. Okay, it's almost done. Lovely. How did we do? I had, uh, what, 28,000? And we are at... Okay, now it's finished. 65,000. So 37,000 big bucks from one run. This guy was loaded up. One run, 65,000 big bucks. Or, er, uh, 37. Okay, that's that's not too shabby. All right, I'm going to re rebuild these guys, and we're going to go kill some fools. Okay, 
I can explain. I can explain. I know I said that I was just gonna take a little while. I was gonna replace the wheels on my existing tech and I was gonna make a new one with the other weapon. And of course you don't see either of those things in front of you because I didn't do that. In the process of starting to put new wheels on, I started to think, hey, let's put a whole row in the middle so we can have twice as many wheels and let's put on an extra row of weapons and let's make it wider so we can have more weapons. And so basically I completely broke it down and I rebuilt it completely from scratch. Previously we had, I think 32, yeah, 32 three pound, uh, three pound cannons, 32 of them, four rows of eight. Now we've got five rows of 10. So we used to have the 96 pound cannon, the tech, this one is the 150 pound cannon. I'm using the, the Venture Co. wheels here. Or not, uh, Geo, Geocorp, not Venture Co. This one is Venture Co. because it, uh, it just happens to fit in this little slot. The Geotech is one slot higher, so uh, we put those in all the other slots. And then in the middle, I've got an extra row just to deal with all of the weight. So in between the wheels, there's a bunch of shields and batteries and repair bubbles and you can kind of see up in there a little bit so there's a whole bunch of batteries as you might expect and looking under here you can see fuel tanks a whole bunch of fuel tanks i think i put uh or like 16 or something like that and then we've got 10 10 of these big gso four times redux mega boosters 10 of those and everything that is not uh, a weapon or a wheel or a booster it is covered in armor plating. I don't actually know how much this guy costs if we happen to lose him. Uh, we can actually check. I did save it and I saved the miner. So the miner is uh, 17,000, which is pretty cheap. And I called him the box miner because he's kind of just a rectangle. Uh, this guy, 150 pound cannon, 56,000 big bucks. Um, yeah, so basically triple, <laughs> triple the cost of the one we were using before. He doesn't have any of the, the trays to carry items. What are they called? Uh, I forget. Um, uh, but previously, this was my old miner, and this was my old cannon guy. I think this guy cost, uh, 200,000, and this guy cost 100,000. So we're not quite to the biggest of the big, and we'll get bigger than those guys too. This is a pretty good start though, I must say. We're fairly well established here. I've got a nice smelting system, a big miner. I've got multiple of these selling stations, and I've noticed that there are a lot of the enemy bases around where they'll have a little smelting thing and then three or four little small techs. And if you kill the techs, you get all the stuff in the base. So I got a lot of uh, payment terminals that way. I've got a lot of wheels. This thing is just kind of sitting there. Uh, I am going to make a tech and probably going to use the Venture. I can't even see the name because the pop-up. Venture Hail Fire Rifle. Yeah, we're probably going to use that and these wheels. We'll probably do that next time. But let's uh, let's go give this guy a test run and see if we can blow some fools up. So I've been going off in that direction. In fact, I can see a guy there. There have been a lot of guys just spawning all around. Nobody directly on top of my base. I haven't been invaded directly on top of my base. So that is working properly. And eventually we'll, we'll set up some actual defenses, some walls, and we'll have like just walls of guns basically. And I'm gonna put like one AI tech on each wall so that it'll shoot automatically whenever something gets close. I've had a few close calls. I guess they weren't really close calls. When Tex, uh, I'm fighting a Tech who spawned relatively close to my base, and uh, he he gets close enough that he doesn't want to fight fight me or shoot me. Uh, he wants to go shoot my stuff in my base, but he usually can't do enough damage because I've got repair bubbles on my uh, smelting setup or my old setup. I guess I need to put them on the new one. Anyway, uh, I've had Tex very close to the base. We need some defenses. We'll get to that. But uh, what I want to do for the next few videos is definitely unlock the rest of the parts. Or the important ones, anyway. We want the Cerberus drill thing. This is what I was talking about, the little base. These things are all over the place. Uh, okay, so now, is this ours yet? 
No, this thing's still here. Okay, die, please. So he's gonna explode. Now this is ours. Um, I, I don't want any of this. It's cheaper for me now to just... Uh, let's make sure that something is still anchored. There we go. Okay, the blue circles all disappeared. It's easier for me now at this point to just buy that stuff. Uh, if they do release that item... Ooh, look at those nice rocks. Uh, what, what ore is this? Carbite. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. There's an item they've been working on, which uh, is basically like the tractor pad. That's what it's called. It's like the tractor pad for items, but it picks up weapons and blocks and stuff instead of the ores. Um, and I guess that's for better automation, so you can, like, specialize in doing one thing or the other, and you can decide. Look at all these little bases. See what I said about the bases? This is like four little mini bases all on top of each other. This guy's even got a little drone. I'd love to shoot him if my guy would finish shooting that stuff. Ah, oh, whatever. Um, hopefully, am I taking, how much damage am I taking? I mean, I'm not, oh, that's loud. So I'm not invulnerable if I do take enough damage in a short amount of time. Ooh, this is, the, oh, this is the tier four. Grade three, no, it's grade three. Okay, it's junk. We are looking for a grade five. If we get a grade five fabricator, then we will be able to craft the uh, the Megaton Cannon, which is a really awesome. He's got shields here. These Okay, these bases are a little bit more advanced. Lots of little guards and drones and stuff, which is kind of neat, because I haven't seen that in these automated, auto-generated bases before. So that's a grade two fabricator. No good. We want grade five. And you can't craft them either. You gotta find them. Uh, this is grade... The three? I'm not sure, but we already have it one way or the other. And what is that? Oh, that's a scrapper. Get scrappy, pappy. Okay, let's shoot this guy. This is kind of like... This is like shooting fish in a barrel. I mean, these guys really are no match for me. Um... Even though they're all, like, shooting me right now, I should... Let's, uh... Am I taking enough damage? No, I think I'm healing it faster than they can deal it. But I should check my batteries periodically. And I just made this guy. I need to find a good... Oh, this is new. Okay, I want that. Yeah, okay, we already have that one. Get out of here. Let's just blow all this stuff. Oh, this is ours. It's not going to blow up. It counts as ours, so we have to unanchor it. Come on. There we go. There's that one. Okay, so this is... Please pop up name. GSO, lots of silo. So nine small silos, three by three grid. That's very good. So in my previous save game, there was a thing where uh, items were despawning from your silos when you left your base and came back. And that has not happened in this one, so we can uh, use silos now, which is good. Oh, this is mine too. Okay. Um, okay, I think I have everything here. So I just want to unanchor it. I don't want uh, little blue beacons all over the map. When I see a blue spot on my map, I want to know that it's uh, it's my base and not just this random stuff I left everywhere. Gotta keep this desert clean and tidy. Okay, kill this guy. Maybe we can find someone a little bit bigger after all these little guys. Okay, unanchor everything. Oh, you're still alive? Oh, sound effects. Noise. Okay. Uh, so, we killed all of them. That's good. We did get a new item, which is nice. The 3x3 silo. I am really interested in the crafting system, and I'm looking forward to the day when uh, we can craft the VentureCo and GSO stuff. Or not GSO, uh, GeoCorp. Might have been a mistake naming two out of your three corporations with the same letter. Started with the same letter, G. Maybe you should uh, have them be a little bit more distinct. All right, you're dead. A lot of little guys here. 
Okay, there's someone a little bit bigger over here. Maybe this is the direction we need to go. Maybe we should head over to the mountains. Maybe we can find some worthy adversaries there. Oh, I needed to look for a battery spot. I need to be able to look at a glance at my battery level. This is probably pretty good right there. Okay, so we are more than 60% full. Well, this guy's quick. So one of the things, when I make a big tech like this, which is designed basically, is just mobile artillery. Uh, I want to make sure he's got a decent enough turning speed so that when we find these guys, uh, I can rotate and keep shooting them as they zip around. And these guys will be able to zip around me faster than I can track them, but this guy actually has a better turning speed than my previous one. Oh, there's an item on a pedestal. He is uh, He's better than the other one. And he's got 50% more firepower, so he's pretty nice. Pretty nice upgrade. Okay, get off of there. Okay, um, let's head towards the mountains. Let's see if we can find somebody big. I haven't really been using my boosters, have I? Okay, boosters, engage! I put a lot of fuel tanks in this thing, but when you put 10 of these big fuel, uh, big booster things on your butt, you can empty fuel tanks very quickly. That's another good thing about the boosters is it's good for getting you unstuck. And is the sun setting? Or is this just because we're entering the desert? I think it's because we entered the desert. The light changed a bit. I don't want to go too far, and I want to be real careful of these ridges not to get stuck. Even though this guy, oh gosh, this guy probably won't suffer that problem because he's got all the wheels in the middle. So he, it'll probably be almost impossible for him to get stuck unless his nose digs into the ground at some point, like right here. But nope, handle that like a champ. All right, uh, so let's head down maybe into the salt flats. I was hoping we'd find some big dude, but we haven't really seen much. I wanted to see how we would fare against one of those huge monstrosities that just has tons and tons of weapons. My previous guy, I had a little bit of trouble. Not really trouble. It just took too long for my liking to, t to kill them. There's one over there. Okay, this will be a good test. Previous guy could fight these guys, but it just seemed like it took too long, and I was taking a lot of fire. I never really lost parts much. There's an item on a pedestal. I already have it, but let's get it off the pedestal. Boosters! They've been adding more sound effects. So they're like the... Uh... Oh, no, this is new. That's new item. I don't have that. This is an experimental wheel. EXP Experimental Rugged Wheel. So I wonder what the difference between this and this and this is. We'll have to test that out. Interesting. New item. Cool. All right. Let's go kill this guy. See how we fare. Is the sun, the sun is starting to get low. Okay, we've got a few minutes of daytime left. So these guys have tons of blocks and the... The little cab is buried in the middle. Yeah, see what I mean? Uh, so this particular weapon I'm using needs to... It's very easy for its line of sight to get blocked. And it, you go from having 50 of these things to having like 8. If you're at, ju at just the wrong angle. But uh, I think my turning rate is fine. It does slow down the destruction. And it does seem a bit harder to target wheels and stuff. Yeah, now we're just like straight in front of him and we're tearing through him. He's got so many blocks though, it's, I guess maybe just take a long time either way. Once we get the upgraded, look at all the fire he's <laughs> releasing in. Oh, what are you using for weapon? Oh, you're using, okay, you're using those. There's the cab. Okay, he died. If we got to his juicy Tootsie core. Ooh. Tootsie Pop core. That, those explosions are pretty dangerous. Um, you do need to be careful of that. We're down to about 40% on our shields. I don't see anything new here. Uh, the names do tend to pop up when you see something new, or when there is something new on the ground. To help you see it. All right, let's just uh, pop over here. To help the lag at night, they've reduced the draw distance a lot. Okay, we just have a little fella. Little zippy guy. Little funny fella. Little funny fella! Hey! Oh, that doesn't feel good, does it? Little funny fella. Hey, come back. He's got a, um, he was on a hover pad. Anyway, night has fallen. This guy's a success. We can keep unlocking blocks and try out some of the new ones. Hope you guys enjoy the video.
See you next time. Bye-bye.